COVID-19 has changed the way we live. It has exposed inequalities in our world. It has also exposed common human experience. Our health workers are overstretched and working hard to save lives. And we thank them. Women make up to 70% of health workers in the front line. They travel home as nurses in most cases using public transport, further exposing them to infections. At home, they are caregivers, and that too overstretches them. And they need support to manage the stress they are under. We've also learned about the spike in gender-based violence. In some cases, the reports from hotlines and law enforcement tells us that it is three times more. This again needs a swift response. I am making an appeal to leaders to declare the services that address gender-based violence essential services. These are services that are provided by civil society, by government departments, by churches, and other independent players, including grassroots organizations. These organizations and institutions also need resources and money to carry this very important task at this critical moment. We need to make sure that law enforcement and everyone who is dealing with responding to COVID-19 knows what to do when there is a situation of an abused woman or child. We also call on men's organizations to take responsibility for fighting on the side of women. We call for solidarity and we call for men's organization to do their best. We need to make sure that the economic support that is being provided has got programs and benefits that are targeted to women. We need to make sure that social protection is also targeted to women, especially if it is a cash transfer. We also need to make sure that the women in the front lines who are underpaid and yet overworked are addressed adequately now and for the future. I ask everybody to stay at home because our health workers are staying at work for us. Thank you.